Hi to Chaco. It's best of three. Sammy's there. Beautiful. Nine one is good luck. Oh, that makes sense. You guys are so smart. Hope that breaker works well. For starters, we have an arc base here for uh, Sock. But what hero do we get for Chamiko? Let's select this altar. Oh. Arc mage against arc mage. I was hoping something exciting. I was hoping like blood mage first or mountain king first or you know what? Paladin first. Yeah, that would be amazing. Paladin first would be amazing. But no, it's an arc mage first. And he's going to creep something over here. Perhaps this uh, creep camp. Easy peasy creepy. There, he starts creeping. This level 5 is taking a lot of damage. Seems a water elemental to, to uh, tank the rogues. While he's killing the renegade wizard with his uh, the rest of the units. There, that guy went down. He's going to pick up the ring of protection. What a nice item for uh, a different situation, of course. Of course, it's a shitty item in this situation. In almost every situation, actually, it's one of the worst items uh, you can get. Uh, meanwhile, we have a footman there for stalk harassing. Chamiko's footman is already on his way back. Oh, beautiful block here by Chamiko. But the footman goes the other way. Uh, Tome of Health is okay. Sims of City, not a shitty item. Meanwhile, the Archmage over here got Claws of Attack. What a great item. And Cloak of Shadows, what a shitty item. I mean, Cloak of Shadows. Is it better than the Slippers? Probably not. Probably not. But both. Items are just very bad. Creeping the same creep uh, items, things, creep camps. Let's see what item they get here. The Sentry Ward is the item you want here. Sentry Ward is so good. It's so good. I want to see Sentry Ward. Do we see Sentry Ward? What do I want? What do we want to see here? Maybe also Sentry Ward. We got uh, Sentry Ward against the replenishment potion. That's so bad for Chamiko. Much better item here for Sock. Sentry Ward is amazing. But Sock finds that water elemental and starts killing it. Oh, there's gonna be 42 XP here. He gets that 42 XP while Sock sells his cloak. No, does not sell his cloak, of course. They're going for each other's base. We have uh, one arcane tower, second one going up. We have one arcane tower, second one going up a bit later though for Chimiko. Sock has the arcane tower advantage. Two arcane towers up against one. The militia here trying to defend against the footman. Of course, they do an excellent job. This uh, arcane tower taking some damage. Peasants repairing this uh, militia dying here in the back. One goes down. Beautiful position by the on the water elemental, by the way. Uh, protected by the farms, the altar, and the tunnel. But is there to stop there by Chamiko? His argument is in a bit vulnerable position though, but he has the boots he gets out in a few milliseconds. But because Chamiko didn't have that second arcane tower like Sok had, Chamiko. Go had to uh, come home and defend there. There's a frog here as well. As you can see, frogs on netties also make sounds. Quack. This uh, footman takes some damage. The archmage is hunting down the footman uh, over here. Oh, it goes down. Beautiful kill. Beautiful kill, man. That footman. That means we have uh, a bit. Did we see anything die here, by the way? Yeah, one peasant. One peasant died for Jamiko. Besides that, I'm not sure. Don't think I've seen any footman die for Jamiko. This water on metal being uh, almost surrounded by the militia, but not quite. He managed to slither his way through. Uh, but now maybe he will fall, though. Meanwhile, the footman in the back going for uh, peasants. But these peasants are so long. They, they kill one more peasant. And a footman here for Jamiko now. Dying as well. Well, there goes a the footman for Sock first. Another uh, Archmage comes in, snipes at footman. Uh, did he try to deny it? I, it looked like it, but I don't think he got it. Archmage uh, got the XP for Sock. Uh, Sock Sock's Archmage got the XP. Tries to hunt down one more footman, but he doesn't get it. It is uh, 28 to get 35 supply. Sock with a huge advantage now in supply. Also, his tech is way faster. And he has more XP. No, he doesn't. Uh, Chamiko has more XP now. Water elementals give so much XP. Quack. I want to see Lightning Shield. 
Uh, a player's forces are under attack. Maybe we'll slide in shield over here. Of course, in the mirror, it uh, they're gonna creep more. Mirrors tend to be matchups where we see more creeping. We see more sitting in the base. We see more uh, more of the. Um, no, that's about it. Lumber mill going up. Arcane Vault is going up. On the other side, we have Arcane Vault already up. No Lumber Mill is going up. Do we see second hero? Maybe a panda. Maybe a mountain king. It's a mountain king. What about Chaimiko? Chaimiko is not getting anything just yet. This is going to be cancelled. Who's in the other semi-finals? Light, low, low light, first life. Thanks. Is what... Uh, written in my chat. This uh, water metal does go down. This footman is going down. This It dies. We have a, a militia guy going down there for uh, Chamiko as well. This footman goes down. So many units going down here from both sides. It's uh, kind of hard to keep track. We're losing more units, of course, in the mirror. Uh, but it seems like Sokka's losing more footman here. He just saw three footman in a matter of uh, two seconds. Suddenly Chamiko is up in supply. 29 against 28. And we have a level 4 arc range now for Chimiko. There's still a dome of strength over there. He's hunting down one more footman. But where's the Mountain King? Can the Mountain King save the footman? Where's Mr. Mountain King? Mr. Mountain King is all the way over there. Can't save the footman. footman. The footman does go down. And uh, we do have a sentry ward in the base here of Chimiko though. Here comes Sox's arc mage. He's hunting down the arc mage of Chimiko. But he just runs away. Usually Sock is stronger. Just winning clearly. I think Chamiko is winning at the moment. I mean, Sok was doing well early. Let's see, we have double arcane sanctums up. Okay, the sanctums are a bit late for Chamiko. But he has more footmen. Wait, does he have more footmen? He has two footmen. There's one footman over here. I mean, supply-wise, uh, Chamiko's three supply up and he has a lot of gold. He just doesn't have a lot of lumber because of uh, Sox's harassment. Oh, that footman went down. But he bought a shredder. Okay, he bought a shredder. He will get enough lumber soon. This will also set him up better for uh, expansion if it ever comes to that. Uh, but Sok is going for the expansion. He has the lumber now. Does he have the lumber? He barely has enough lumber, but not enough gold. Oh wait, he just spent a lot of lumber on these towers. That's why he barely has enough lumber, but... Uh, these peasants, he has how many? Six peasants here. Only three peasants mining the lumber. He's gonna run out of lumber very fast. <coughs> very fast. Archmage with the replenishment potion. Level four and a half Archmage ready for Chimiko. There's a lightning shield someone wanted to see. This Archmage is still not level four yet. He's close to level four. It's not, still not there yet. We have boots on the mountain king. Oh no, Archmage! But if he gets storm bolted, he can always stop. There's no bash. Just yet. Modi Stonesmith in the back here. He has double arcane sanctum, he's getting a blacksmith up. He's gonna creep. And this peasant. Oh, look, he's out of lumber, guys. What was I talking about? Sock running out of lumber. What just happened? Sock running out of lumber. This peasant is going to survive. But now he dies. This peasant is next. Oh, and he gets. Uh, he's, he has some lumber again. Now he finishes this town hall. And the Archmage uh, stops out, but Stormbolt in his face. Or kind of like of 30 degree angle. And a TP out now with the Archmage. A player's forces are under attack. Well, Chimiko has 600 gold and 700 lumber. He can buy whatever he wants. But he needs to buy it soon and then uh, cancel that expansion. 
two arcane towers. I mean, it's no longer cancelled. Just destroy the expansion is what he needs to do now. He has more supply. He has more gold. But he needs to spend it because we have a higher income for Sock. Or is he just going to counter expand? Where are his peasants? Here they are. Archimedes is very close to level 5. Mount King very close to level 3. Chamiko has the stronger ar uh, heroes. A shitty item here. Boots of Quatalas. We have a greater info potion. Is he going to buy a Zeppelin as well? No. He's going to towers the expansion. <laughs> that, already, that has defensive towers. Chamiko at 50. But Sok already up to 60. His uh, income already paying off, his double income giving him so much gold to buy all the units he wants. And he bought the mercenaries, of course. For a troll, ogre molar, berserker. He's going to buy more here. Well, here come here come the towers. Does suck see it does night? He doesn't see the towers just yet. Does he have a TP? Let's see if he has a TP. Uh, he does have a TP on the Archmage. The Mount King is gonna be level 3 now. Well, this Mountain King is still level 2, but... Oh, no, never mind, level 3. Look, if he had Blizzard, man, this would be so beautiful, but no Blizzard. Everything would die there to a Blizzard. He bought the second force of Berserker there. We have Peasants here, fighting in the back. Uh, the Shredder went down. Don't know which Shredder, for who, for who. I think it was... Uh, yeah, it was. Chimiko Shredder, just over Mauler, just uh, killing the Spellbreaker, easy. No, it's going for the Footman. Footman though is about to die. We have so many Mountain Kings for Chamiko, but they do get this belt. This Archmage is almost level 5. Can he make a difference with the level 5 army? Uh, Archmage is 20 supply behind. But the level 5 Archmage, of course, super duper powerful. Oh, he's level 5 now. There's a, a clap. Beautiful clap. And we have level 5 Archmage now. Did he pick level 3 Brilliance? No, he picked level 3 Water Elemental, of course. Level 1 Blizzard. <laughs> Kappa. This Water Elemental hunting down that's uh, Ogre. Can he get the ogre? He cannot get the... Well, he can get the ogre. Yes, he gets the ogre. Kills a priest over here with the Mount King. Meanwhile, uh, this Arcane Tower attacking the wrong target there. Maybe he should right-click the Archmage. Goes for the priest. Okay, sure, that's fine. 38 against 64 supply. Beautiful clap there. Do we have uh, mana here? No. No mana for Sox uh, Mountain King, but he does bash this uh, this priest. Priest almost dies, two hit points. His other priest died in the meantime. And uh, level five Archmage now for Sock as well. This priest got a stronghold in the face. The Mountain King is about. Oh, that's a dead Mountain King. GG. Sock wins game one. It's a bit chilly here in the Netherlands. Dude, when I lived in Korea though, that it was so cold, man. It was like minus 19 degrees at uh, at night or in the evening in winter. It's uh, I didn't have any winter clothing, so I just didn't leave my house. Just stayed inside every day, all day, watching Twitch, of course. Uh, why? Okay, for some reason, if you get all if you all tap for too long, Nettie's gives you a, gives you an AFK warning. We have a. Uh, Archmage against Archmage again. Interesting. Actually, let me I'll tap you real fast one more time. There. A player's forces are under the light beat one human and two night elves so far. So in semifinals, our final seemed good for him. True. He beat uh, the races that he has to beat. Wait, shit. This is not good. I cannot scroll down. Okay, now I can. Okay, the Archmage is creeping over here. The Archmage here is creeping as well. Beautiful. Surfleth here. What do we have here? Ring of Protection. Oh, such a shitty item here for Sok. Maybe this is Karma. I don't know uh, what he did to deserve this. But he probably did something, uh, something bad. He has probably been a bad boy.
So. Tell us from your time in Korea, please. Uh, I've been in Korea twice. Once I lived there for like three months and once for five months. And uh, it was a long time ago. It was like uh, seven years ago the first time. The first time I really liked it. That's why I came back, of course. But I was there in summer the first time. And uh, the second time was kind of a bit late. It was a bit later. It was more in uh, autumn and winter. And it was just too cold, so I didn't do anything. So th I didn't uh, have a pleasant time there the second time. A player's forces are under attack. As for... Uh, what else is to say? Back then, I wasn't watching any Warcraft 3, so I didn't... Uh, I was watching actually some Starcraft 2 at the moment. I went to the StarCraft 2 games now and then. It was interesting to watch it live for a little bit, but after going a few times, I'd seen enough. And I just watched it from home. Let's see what item we have over here. The Tome of Intelligence is nice here for the Archmage. And this is gonna be. Sobby Mask. Uh, on the Archmage is not the best item, but this is the best item. Rope of the Magi. Top two prize pool. First place 123 US dollars. Second place 88. Okay. Does they eat dogs in Korea too? No. Imperial Speed 120. Yes. We casted that game earlier. Did you have a job there? No. Back then I was making uh, money online with affiliate marketing. You would not know. Claws of attack. This Archmage does plus 17 damage. This Archmage got all the good items. Chimiko, man. So, such good items. Look at these shitty items here. Ring of protection, shopping mask. What shitty items. Look at these items. Rope of the Magi, amazing. Circlet, amazing. Claws of attack plus 9, amazing. And expansion, of course. Why does it go for the expansion? Because he has the amazing items. Uh, sock, uh, sock attack, of course. But Sokka has the Berserker and the Berser uh, to First Lost Shadow Priest, well, so does Chamiko. Sokka has six, 36 supplies, so does Chamiko. How much mana does Rope of the Magi give an Archmage compared to Sobi Mask? 50% increase. Unfortunately, I don't know the answer. <laughs> but uh, I don't think the difference is very big. Right, especially in an Archmage with Brilliance. Because I think the Brilliance is stacked on top of the Rope of the Magi, while the Sobi Mask is added separately. We can compare. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 0, 1, 2, okay, here we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's a slight, I think the Sobi Mask is slightly better in mana. But here we have uh, plus six damage. Okay, maybe I, by maybe I, uh, over over reacted a little bit. How bad, uh, how bad the Sobi mask is, but still I'd rather have the rope of the Magi. And these other items are just better on this Archmage. The Archmage level four now for Chamiko. We have a panda here, by the way, for our sock. Use one breath fire already. There's the second one. Uh, some of these footmen they take a lot of damage. They do have defense, but how they don't defend against the Breath of Fire. They're all kind of hurt. Does he have a shop here? No shop here. Archmage defending by himself. He does do a lot of damage. Remember, he's like a ranged blade master at this point. Two water elementals. This, uh, this footman is going down. There he dies. He has a shop. He doesn't have a shop anywhere. Can Sok uh, crush this expansion? Panda's just so strong. Maybe you should give the Sobi Mask to the Panda. I mean, maybe not though. Because the Panda is just gonna be at zero mana. And the Archmage's uh, extra water elementals is probably more useful than uh, Panda. Like zero plus 50% is still zero. Dog is more like a pet, like cats and hamsters. That's why people think it's weird. Yeah, and uh, piggies as well, guys. Piggies are also pets. Stop eating piggies. 
The Beastmaster wouldn't like you to eat piggies. Uh, we have the Tome of Retraining, so he's going for Blizzard. Tier 2 here, we have Arcane Sanctum units, Priests. We have a uh, Lumber Mill. Everything tastes like people, uh, like chicken. Hi chat and hi to hi to Chaco. Hi Korean Zombie 9. Welcome back to the stream. Hey guys, nice to see Hall Scope gets covered. Hall Scope always gets covered, guys. It's always You know, usually it's uh Remo. At least the last two or three times it was Remo. If Remo is not there for you guys, man, I will always cover it. It's just such a good cup. There's a breath of fire. So it's a 39 against 44. So Amico has supply advantage, but it's mostly just uh, trolls. Trolls and footmen. When hamster have sex, it dies? Really? Don't you, uh, aren't you confused with like fish or like uh, spiders? Don't think that's true for hamsters. I don't know though. I, I never owned a hamster. There's a beautiful blizzard here. I mean, let's let's use a different objective because I use a uh, beautiful too much. Let's uh, start practicing. <laughs> practicing. There's an interesting blizzard there on all the uh, trolls and the priests there. They do run out of it. Some of these units in the back are pretty hard to pad. has no more mana though. This uh, tower went down. We have militia here in the back of uh, in Chamikos. Okay, they're going for the Archmist. Archmist surrounded by peasants. He TPs out. I'm not sure if he was actually afraid for his life. He's still tier 1. He cannot buy healing potions. So if he takes too much damage, you know, there's nothing he can do. So better TP early than late. And now we can blizzard all these towers. And kill them probably. Well, maybe. He cancels a few of them. Yeah. Oh, the peons walk into the blizzard. The peons are dead. We have level 5, by the way. Level 5 Archmist means level 3 blizzard. This is insane. Hell, Hello, Mike. Uh, hi to Chaco to you and there's another blizzard here in the back on these uh, priests and uh, the other units What elementals? This water elemental is almost dead. Is he going for level 6 archmage? Is that his goal here? Is he tier 2 yet? He is tier 2 by the way. He can now buy uh, anything he wants like a mountain king healing potions I could have just checked over here. No, I can't if this was that East TV I could have just selected the shop this blizzard is hitting nothing at the moment, but he probably hit something else earlier. There's no more footmen though. There's nothing to tank anymore for the Archmage. The Archmage is just doing his blizzards. By the way, since he changed to blizzard, these items are no longer super good, super powerful. Uh, at this point, since he changed to blizzard, the Sobi Mask is maybe even better than the Rope of the Magi. There was a nice Stormbolt on this Archmage. He needs to somehow survive. With these uh, blizzards, with the Mountain King. Can Stormbolt on Panda? A uh, bit too late. The blizzard is just. Uh, was just missing, but he does kill the Panda anyway. Archmage does take a lot of damage. He has a healing potion. Uses that healing potion. We have four Storm Shadow Priests. He does have 25 mana, 26, so 30 mana now, actually. We have a sheep walking into the screen there. He walked from the right into the screen. So I for a second I was like, what the fuck is that? But it's just a sheep. Waterman to killing peasants. This tower is going to be up too late. We have 36 supply against 42. How about amazing word? Amazing blizzard there on the uh, on the tower like that. I mean like that. Wiki team liquid is done. I don't know. Cute blizzard. Okay, I'll use cute next one and then a cold uh, afterwards. I just need to uh, practice using some different words. Just for diversity's sake. Got some words for you. Important, necessary, impressive, amazing, use. Well, wait, wait. Here we have a cute blizzard here on this forest tall berserker and uh, the water metal. The berserker is dead. And and now we have a cold blizzard here on the priests. The priests taking so much damage. It's so cold. I'm sure they're uh, they're crying and their tears. Their tears are like, uh, how do you call them? Like uh, ice flakes. And now we have a uh, next word. Important blizzard here on this, <laughs> on this arcane tower. Archmage gets his mana. Uh, drain though. This tower taking a lot of damage. Who's up? With 40, uh, can he defend though? It's, it looks like uh, Sok is, uh, I mean, Chamik is defending. Oh, uh, next one. Necessary blizzard here on this uh, priest. That, that blizzard was so necessary for those priests to, uh, to be moved back. We still have plenty more blizzards. 
Uh, the uh, the uh, water elemental going for the forest tallest centerpiece. These peons are still mining, by the way. Remember, Chamiko, it seems like he's losing, but he has been uh, gold mining this entire time. So that's why he's still... Oh, look how much gold Chamiko has, actually. We have an uh, impressive blizzard here on, like, the Archmage and a few priests walk into the blizzard. What a stupid priest. Now they move back out, of course. You don't want to walk into an impressive blizzard. You know, maybe if, if it was just a cold blizzard. You know, you can wear some warm clothing and you can survive, but the impressive blizzard is a bit too much. That that was a nice, uh, was an, uh, a huge storm ball there on that Archmage. I skipped the uh, amazing because we already used it earlier. Okay, oh and there that breath of fire was just fascinating. All the peons taking so much damage and now we have a shocking blizzard on these, these um, uh, priests. One of them does fall. Panda is using a clarity here. It's a uh, 45. Oh, and another stunning breath of fire there kills a priest. I mean, it makes more sense to use. Yes, yeah, sense to use like words like stunning and shocking for like storm bolts because it's actually like stuns or shocks. So I'll remember that for the future. You know, when we see storm bolt, we'll use like stunning storm bolt. Oh, and that is an. Uh, oh shit! You guys chatted too much. I don't see the adjectives anymore. There was a. A burning breath of fire there on the priest. <laughs> Guys, I made my own adjective. I, I made up my own adjective, or I thought of my own adjective to use. I said burning breath of fire anyway. This expansion is uh, all the peasants are killed. Is Samiko still in the game? 47 supply against 50. And uh, say, but what's it worth? But what's it worth? At what point? Uh, a priest went down. But what's it worth? Uh, there he summons a water elemental in the base, but he's uh, stuck, stuck with the uh, arcane towers. Uh, this priest takes a lot of damage, and there we have an, an electrifying blizzard here. Hits his own, uh, its own militia a little bit. This tower taking a lot of damage. Can he get the XP? If he, oh, he does take the XP. That's beautiful. The archmage now almost level six. There's nine more XP. Level six archmage. That's gonna be uh, a game changer, of course. Forty-nine supply against fifty. Six spellbreakers, there's one zero for Chamiko. Spellbreakers are zero zero here for uh, Sok. Comes back, Chamiko comes back in, and we have a yummy blizzard here on the priest. The priest takes so much damage from this yummy blizzard, and Sok pauses. I was wondering why was he not moving his priests, but he had some lag or something, or like he out tapped, and he's like, "Please regame. I didn't move my priests because I." Uh, can you guys hear the blizzard sound? Okay, it was a ping issue. I feel I still hear this yummy blizzard. Nice, Mike. Okay, you guys like that? Uh, what's it worth comment? Is that is that some kind of meme or? We do have a level six arc base now for Jimiko, and he's TP's back to the back of the base here of soccer. And there we have a delicious blizzard on all these peasants, and they all die. What's happening over here? He's creeping his panda up. Panda's level 3 finally, so late in the game. Now he's blizzarding uh, over here. The Archmage takes some damage from the Arcane Tower, loses some mana, but he still has plenty of mana to mass TP. I forgot how much mana it cost. What is a mass TP? 100 mana or more? I think it, I feel like it's 100 mana. Hi Chaco, hi Drawing Warcraft. Welcome back. For some reason, your name is a different color to me today. Normally, it's like a brownish color, I believe. Today, your, your color is uh, blue. It's a Neo meme. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't know that. Well, this base going down. A base race is obviously going to be won by Chamiko. Chamiko has a uh, mass teleport. And he has more gold, but not enough lumber. Sok has more lumber, so he can build more buildings. Actually, yeah. Sok can build more buildings because of the lumber. So maybe Sok has a chance still. Seems like we have a series. Well, I, the, I still believe Chimiko is going to win this, but Sok has a chance with the Lumber and the Peons. Uh, sure, uh, Chimiko moved out his Peons as well, but he doesn't have Lumber. He needs to build a Lumber Mill. That's what he needs to do. Beats, build a Lumber Mill. Chop as many trees as you can. Oh, what is this? Did he buy something? A Zeppelin? Oh, no Zeppelin. 
So his sock is out of gold. Let's farm there. Oh, he did buy a Zeppelin. I just missed it, guys. Let me just uh, quickly look at those objectives one more time. So we have important, necessary, impressive, amazing, huge, fascinating, shocking, stunning, marvelous. That was a marvelous blizzard. Surprising, surprising, like a surprising storm bolt. Yummy, cold, cute. Okay. Okay, Zeppelin here for Tamiko as well. Of course, uh, Zeppelins are just. Uh, they are. What are they? Zeppelins are. Marvelous. Zeppelins are just marvelous in this matchup, in this uh, situation. I mean, they cost zero supply. So at this point, you cannot build any units anymore because you don't have any farms. Actually, yeah, even Chamiko is supply blocked. So, uh, but the Zeppelin costs zero supply, so you can always buy a Zeppelin, no matter what. Shredder and, and Zeppers, they cost supply. Zeppelins, zero. Look, you can see it over here. You can see it over here. You can't see it over here. Oh, he drops down a peasant over here. It's gonna build a farm over there. You cannot bash to P to that farm, but he does have his own Zeppelin. We have a scout tower here for Chamiko. Is that his only building? Uh-oh, Chamiko only has 46 lumber. Only 46, he can build like two farms. One over here and one over... Is he gonna try to do something similar maybe? Oh, he comes to Archmage. There's a blizzard on this peasant and uh, the farm. Archmage is, uh, has an info potion, so he can play pretty risky. Remember, also, there's no Mountain King here for uh, Sok. And GG, Sok was defeated. He kills the last uh, farm. I didn't realize that was the last building for Sok, actually. But uh, that was the last building for Sok. It is an amazing game so far. Hi to Chaco. Hey, Blades. Welcome back. I saw you beat Infi. I assume there was a Deathrin. Was that a Deathrin Blade, or did you actually beat Infi? I assume it was a death win because I didn't see the game anywhere. Imperius beat 120. Yes, that was actually played. Imperius did beat 120. Choco, I want your baby. It will be Choco then. Well, I've had some people uh, telling me they want more babies. So you have to uh, stand in line. We have Landazer, by the way, here for Chamiko. Landazer for Chamiko. And we have uh, Dollar Dam. Don Weaver here for Sock. Oh, and he serves a water mental and there for Chamiko as well. But Chamiko's items are a bit better, maybe. I'm not sure. It's hard to say. The circlet. How good is the circlet on the Archmage? Uh, I feel on the Archmage the claws is better, but once they have a second hero, the circlet is going to be better. Whether that's going to be a Mountain King or a Panda, I think uh, the circlet will prove uh, more useful than the claws. Although the claws of deck very good. I don't know. They're both focusing the Archmages. A death win? Okay, that was a death win. Scouted by Sock. I, uh... What did he scout? Focus didn't play? No, he didn't play. Yeah, and, and Lin lost very early. Lin lost to Sock, actually. Lin lost to Sock in the first round. Uh, Fly didn't play. And Focus did not play. This uh, Water Metal does get killed. He's... Footman, they survive. Micro to the bed. These footmen are still alive as well. Oh, but this footman, what's this footman doing? He just wants to die. But the Archmage, oh, did he deny? I'm not sure if he denied. It looked like he didn't actually. It looked like the Water Elemental got the kill. Uh, we have more XP now on the blue Archmage than the red Archmage. On Sock, Sock's Archmage over Chamiko's Archmage. Does Sock just have better Micro than Chamiko? Maybe, but let me take everything back because this Archmage is gonna hunt down some footmen. Two footmen, or maybe he doesn't get the second one. He's definitely gonna get this one. While the footmen here are trying to kill the Archmage, of course they can never kill the Archmage. We do have both Archmages with the Boots of Speed. This footman hiding over here, but I know he's hiding there. This footman taking some damage. Look, the footman still hiding there. A footman hiding in here as well. Sock, by the way, is at 33 supply. Chamiko at 30. Chamiko has a lot of gold. 
So I think Chamiko slightly had a better early game. He has a, a little bit more XP. No, he's two, he's two XP behind. Sok is two XP ahead. Does that mean Sok had a better early game? Let's see. Chamiko 35. Are they both tacking? They're both at tier 2, I mean. Uh, they, we have one Arcane Sanctum there for Sok. We have double Arcane Sanctum here for Chamiko. We have a Mountain King for Chamiko. And Sok is going for... Wait, Sok doesn't have a second hero yet? He has the gold. He can't get the second hero. Arc oh, there's a Mountain King. Okay, Mountain King against Mountain King. But Chamiko's Mountain King will be out much faster. And his Arcane Sanctums will be up much faster. It looks like... Uh... Sok, maybe Sok built more Footman than Chamiko. I feel that's the case. I think that is what happened. This Footman being hunted down by the Water Elemental, but the Footman... The Arcane Tower is there to defend. Only one Arcane Tower. So is this, uh, is this what you do? You build one Arcane Tower. If you play, uh, and then if you if you're a lot skirmishing a lot with your opponent, you don't build a second one. But if you're creeping a lot, you maybe you want to build a second arcane tower, because if you are creeping somewhere, you know, on the map, and the opponent just walks into your base, are under you need a second arcane tower to defend. Is that it? Is that the human first human meta? Blacksmith going up here for Chamiko. No blacksmith yet for Sock. Sock is ahead in supply, but guys, those are mostly footmen, I think. Let's see, we have uh, three, six footmen here. We have four, five, six. Oh, never mind. We have equal amount of footmen. So what? Well, how come Sock is ahead, ahead in then? supply? Actually, Chamiko went to 41, Sock to 44. And these human mirrors. Sock is ahead in XP. And he's ahead in supply. So I guess Sok is uh, ahead somehow. Okay, I guess one of the reasons is Chamiko invested in the blacksmith. Sok doesn't have a blacksmith. What is he using the blacksmith for? Is it for upgrades? Is it for workshop? Is it for life? Oh, it's upgrades. Okay, there's a first upgrade. Oh, one footman goes down to this archmage. This other footman runs for his life. He's still alive. Um, what? 38, 35 says he did. What, what were we talking about? Someone stealing XP or something? A player's forces are under attack. Well, Sock is creeping over here. 50 supply against 47. Even if one of the players has an advantage, it's a very small one. That was long, long ago. Oh. <laughs> level 3, level 2, level... Three. Oh well, Chamiko will have a faster level 3 Mount King. Even though his Archmage was level 3 later. Maybe if he can fight with a level 3 Mount King against a level 2. That would be nice. Do we have a Blacksmith yet for... There is a Blacksmith for Sock. Chamiko already has a 1-0 upgrade. He's getting the 2-0. Let's, let's compare the items. Okay, first are Archmages. So, this Archmage, Skull of the Beast, uh, is probably good. Probably good if we can fight before there are too many Spellbreakers. Actually, are there Spellbreakers yet for Sock? No Spellbreakers yet for Sock. Does he, have, he does have Adapt though. Can maybe just uh, dispel the Skull of the Beast. We, we don't have time to compare the items because we have a fight here. Who will get the turtle? Uh, it seems that Sock got the turtle and he got a level 3 Mountain King just in time. We have Clap. I'm not sure if that was level 2 or level 1. Can we check? Yeah, it was level 2 clap. So he has level 1 Stormbolt. This Mountain King probably has level 2 Stormbolt, level 1 Bash, is what I assume, because I didn't see any claps. Uh, that priest went down. Or did we see. He did use his mana. I'm not sure what it was. Here, another clap. Clap is just so good against the footman. You don't even need a panda. Just use clap. This Mountain King, what is he doing? What is the Mountain King doing? No mana used so far. Okay, he's. Just doing nothing. These priests are being stacked by the water elementals. We don't have water elementals on the other side because he dispelled them all. I'm not sure why uh, Sock didn't dispel the water elementals. Was he out of mana already? Oh, he was out of mana. Dispel is 75 mana, I believe. And 
this guy is dead. Oh, Legion Doomhorn is definitely one of the better ones. Of course, the health regeneration is not that great in this matchup. But the movement speed is always amazing, man. 10% movement speed just by itself is, is amazing. It's probably uh, better than 10% attack speed a lot of the time. So in other words, it's better than Warzone Battle Drums. It's better than Catgar's Pipe because he already has an Archmage. It is better. It's not better than Endurance Aura, but I think it's the second best item. Or the third best, I'm not sure. Alright, Warzone Battle Drums. Or 10% movement speed. Depends a bit on the matchup. Anyway, this Priest does go down. And there's TP out. Got the flank by the Militia. Chimico 49. Sok went over 50, by the way. So Sok gets a decrease in income. His guys are 1 0 upgraded. He's getting another armor upgrade. There will be 1 1 soon. Over here on the other side, there will be 2 1 soon. And Chimico, is he going for this red creep camp? He wants, he wants the red creep camp, but here comes Sok. And do we see an expansion? We do see an expansion for Sok. Sok has 8 supply up. Is that how is the 8 supply up? <laughs> how come Sok is 8 supply up? We have one less upgrade for Sok. We have. Uh, well, let's see. We have a heal scroll here on the Archmage and a mana potion on the Mount King. I see. He bought less items. So Sok bought less items. He got less upgrades. And I feel that's probably the 8 uh, supply difference. Sok is also getting an expansion. Stormbolt on the water elemental. So let's again compare these items since we have a little bit of time, I think. So Archmage here has the Legion Doomhorn and the Claws. What do we have here? Only Circlet. So the Archmage definitely has much better items here for uh, for Chimiko. The Mount King. Mount King has a lot of bad items here. Invol, greater healing, mana, heal scroll, ring of protection plus three and boots. This one has boots as well. Ring of Protection plus three as well. Gauntlet. The two uh, info potions are comparable to, to these two items, I guess. Uh, mana potion is comparable to the rope of the Magi. And yeah, the Mount Kings are kind of similar. But this Mount King, oh, he gets a uh, crystal ball. The Mount King gets a nice, uh, what did I say? What did I want to say? Oh, level 4. Level 4 for Chimiko's Mountain King. This Mountain King is going to be level 4 pretty soon as well. What did he get over here? Extra hit points, I see. I don't think, actually... I, I'm comparing the items, of course. I don't think they matter that much. They matter a little bit, but... it's not. This matchup isn't as dependent on heroes as some of the other matchups, right? A player's force is like the aura, like the Archmage's aura is just very strong. But the, the aura doesn't get affected by the items. Then because of the aura, the mana items aren't that important. Uh, extra health items aren't that important because you don't have a lot of hero nuke. Extra DPS is... I don't know, it might actually be the best items. Extra DPS. Of course, uh, auras just for all your units are probably the best because it's mostly an army fight against an army fight. This uh, priest goes go down to that uh, Mount King. And more storm bolts is probably pretty important as well. Okay, he does retrain to Blizzard. And he's going to attack this base. We have uh, four, 64 against 67 supply. Sok only got foodies and priests. Oh, I should have probably noted that. He has five footmen still, yeah. Uh, we have three footmen still for Taimiko though. So it's the only difference of two footmen. Probably uh, it might matter. The footmen are actually better against spellbreakers than the other way around. But they die so fast against uh, the heroes, against the stormbolts, against the clap. They yeah, we see a clap on two footmen. And the blizzard. Oh, blizzard. Oh, these peasants just walk into blizzard. By the way, this is uh, such a cute blizzard. But what's it worth? This, uh, this footman goes down this shop. Cow tower, I mean. 19 hit points. But he surrounds the spellbreaker. Did he bash it or something? I think I saw a bash, but no, did he saw a bash? No, I, not from this Mountain King. This Mountain King doesn't have bash. He has level 2 clap, level 2 Stormbolt. He cannot bash. This Priest takes a bit of damage. 
64 spike and 60. It does look pretty good here for Chamiko. He has 2-2 two -two upgrades here. Sock has 2-2 two -two as well. We now have one heal score here for Sock. The expansion goes down. Not sure how much he gold. Uh, uh, oh, he might actually quite a bit out of that. Over 1k gold, so it wasn't like... He probably got his worth out of it. So that's why the game is still so close. There's a Blizzard here on the Spellbreakers. Not doing that much. And this uh, this Spellbreaker takes a lot of damage, but Heal Skull saves it for now. There's another uh, Marvelous Blizzard here on the Heroes. The Militia coming in though. Do we have another clap? We have mana for the clap. There is a clap and there's a Blizzard. Incredible Blizzard killing everything. Level 5 Mountain King now for uh, Chamiko. What skill is going to pick? Probably at this point Stormbolt. Uh, because, you know, Clap isn't that useful anymore. There's no more footman. Well, there's one. Uh, and the Stormbolt is just so good against heroes and priests and everything. There's a Stormbolt on his own, uh, on the Mountain King. Mountain King to Mountain King. This Mountain King for Sock is still very far from level 5. And the Archmage goes down to the Stormbolt Blizzard combo. This has to be GG at this point. Chamiko actually wins and goes to the finals.